It's being touted as a symbol of resilience for Lahaina. Front Street's iconic 151-year-old banyan tree is green again after being singed to black a year ago today during the catastrophic fire. Joining us now to talk story about what's happening with the tree is Dwayne Sparkman, the chief engineer at the Royal Lahaina. Aloha and good morning, Dwayne. Thank you so much for stopping by with us. Aloha, Sam. Thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it. Have a beautiful day. So a year ago tomorrow, I flew over in a helicopter to see the damage and survey what had happened in Lahaina. And the thing that stood out immediately to me was the tree and it looked black. Uh, to see it today, it's just awe-inspiring. What's the status of the tree right now? Well, we've got about 50% of it completely healthy and pushing out brand new leaves and aer aerial roots. It's, it's looking really good on that portion of the tree. We have obviously removed about 50% of that tree's mass that had desiccated. You know, amazingly, only a small portion of it caught fire, and it was just the ambient heat from the relative buildings right around it that caused it to dry out, and we had to remove those sections. So there are parts of it that are cut down and gone, and we've turned it into mulch and put it back in the park. It's just such an incredible tree. Why do you think it survived a fire that killed so many other trees? Basically, size and, and shade, it created its own shade layer. And so it was actually able to put out most of the embers underneath it and not catch fire, as so much so that it did not allow the fire to reach the restroom at the Lahaina Harbor. There was a homeless lady uh, hunkered down inside of it, and she survived the fire. The banyan tree pretty much saved her life. So it is a, a beautiful symbol of resilience. Yeah, just incredible resilience right there for the people of Lahaina, as well as, you know, the, the symbol that it is. What's the outlook, do you think, moving forward? Well, you know, we've got air layers, and those are where we've actually taken clones of that Lahaina banyan tree, and we are going to be planting it back in the park and regrowing it back to itself. And it's going to take decades to get there, but we've got to be patient, and we've just got to let it beautify itself. Uh, we have everything here on island to keep it healthy and thriving, and we're going to do that. Sounds like a, a good analogy for the community as well. Now, Dwayne, what does this tree mean to you as well as the community? You know, I mean, it being the largest living organism on the island and kind of in the state, it's very important that we do keep it alive. And in some cases, it does have a little bit of a negative connotation to some families. But for us, it is a living being, and it did not know it was planted under negative connotations. So we plan on keeping that tree alive as best we can. It is a very important symbol and beacon of hope for the future. And Dwayne, if you can real quick, just tell us a little bit about your organization, what you folks are doing in West Maui. So uh, we partnered up with a handful of folks and we've got this group called Tree Covery. And what we're doing is we are purchasing trees and giving them back to the victims that lost all their trees in the burn zones of Lahaina and Kula. And we plan on expanding. And so our whole thing is to collect funds, buy trees now. We have surveys out. We're collecting all the data from the landowners and we're finding out what trees they lost and what trees they want back. And we are searching those trees. We are not allowing invasive species to be brought in and we're trying to avoid our best uh, to keep any biosecurity safe, to keep this area of the island protected as best we can. Yeah, so important for the future of Maui, of course, to improve with the the invasive species, keep those native plants alive, and yeah, uh, replant those trees and get West Maui uh, green again. Dwayne, thank you so much for all the hard work you do, and thank you so much for stopping by with us this morning. Thank you, guys. Aloha. Aloha.